So while we're creating our accessories and our clothing for our character creator body, we want to make sure we maintain parity. Uh, and what I mean by that is here's our character creator body. And then in ZBrush, we might create our high res for our clothing assets and accessories. And then we might take that into Max, Maya, Moto, Blender, Cinema 4D, whatever you want to use, uh, again, to update your game reses or whatever. And you want to make sure that the vert positions we're putting these in uh, are the same between ZBrush and our 3D uh, DCC app and character creator. Now, if we go into character creator and we say create accessory and we go and say, for example, we exported all of those assets into one FBX file. So we'll say gear bake underscore all. And we bring this in. We're going to say multiple meshes found. Would you like to merge? Hit cancel. This will bring all of those assets in as an accessory. And if we scroll down, those will all be bound to the hip joint. So if we go in here to our scene, all of those FBX assets are accessories, again, bound to the hip joint. But unfortunately, it moves everything. So you can go through here and you can kind of move this stuff into the place but now we've broken parity between our all of our content creation applications uh, these are now moved and they're not in the same position and while we made these things we put them in position on purpose we didn't want them to move position so uh, a better way to do this is i'm going to go through here and just delete all of those accessories we brought in and instead of going in here to the create menu what we're going to do is go into Windows Explorer, and we're going to grab the gear bake all FBX file. We're just going to drag that in and we're going to bring this in as a prop. So it's going to say it contains six meshes. Do you want to break them into sub props? Go ahead and hit no. And here is all of our assets exactly where we want them to be in the exact same vert position as they are in Max Maya Moto Blender Cinema 4D as they are in ZBrush. Uh, unfortunately, they are just props, but we can fix that. So with underneath the prop section here we have our gear bake all fbx group and in here is all of our meshes so with this very top group node selected scroll down here in the modify tab until you get to uh, attach and then say pick parent i'm just going to click right here in the head area doesn't matter what bone you pick in this case and that's going to attach this these prop meshes to the head joint and convert it to an accessory now just the top group node is an accessory and then everything underneath it just kind of follows along but we want to go ahead and assign what each of these accessories or clothing items are so for example we'll start with clothing uh, the first one here is pants so with that selected we're going to go up here and we're going to say transfer skin weights that's going to tell character creator transfer the weights from the body to our pants mesh and we're just going to use the default template and hit apply and that'll go ahead and turn this into a clothing item it's going to go outside of this accessory group and then turn it into a pants object uh, again that is weighted to the body uh, we'll just keep moving our way down so we're going to go grab the glove in that group and we're going to choose a glove template and hit apply so there's our glove clothing item we're going to skip backpack we're going to go into boots apply the shoe template and then back here into the group node we're going to go into the shirt choose default hit apply and now that all of our clothing assets have been assigned we're going to go ahead and close the transfer skin weights window and again clothing items are things that are bound to multiple joints they're going to kind of move along with the body like pants it's going to have left leg and right leg and hips and it's going to bend those objects things uh, that are left like under the gear bake all group node we have a backpack here that's not going to bend that's just going to be attached to the spine too so with backpack selected now instead of using transfer skin weights we're going to go down here to convert to accessory and hit uh, bake current shape just hit convert and then underneath gear bake all again that we have the shoulder pad and you're going to see in this case we lost our options here but all we have to do is go and double click gear bake all and just rename this shoulder pad so if you do select this object i've seen it both ways if you select this one and there is an option to convert to accessory go ahead and do that that'll make it into an accessory mesh and then you can just delete any extraneous group nodes in this case just rename that top group to shoulder pad and now we have a backpack object that's an accessory shoulder pad object that's an accessory again just bound to one joint and then we have all of our clothing objects uh, everything has skin weights on the clothing however the accessories aren't bound to the correct joints because again they're just going to inherit the if we scroll down here the cc base head so for the backpack we're going to go through here and we're going to say pick parent i'm going to choose somewhere in the chest that's going to choose cc base spine too exactly what i wanted if it didn't just go in here and click the little three dots and go through and scroll and pick whatever bone you want to attach to same thing for the shoulder pad we're just going to go through here and say pick parent and again if it doesn't select anything or select the right joint we're going to go in here cc base right upper arm and we're going to say okay so now all of our accessories are bound to the correct joint. And while we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and I'm going to set the pivot. I'm just going to click this little middle 
thing here. So we're going to go ahead and set the pivot for the shoulder pad and then back here in the backpack. Again, we'll just choose that middle dot. Uh, again, if you want to go down here and hit this edit pivot button, you can choose that and move this pivot wherever you'd like. So now if I go down here underneath motion, we'll go ahead and turn on a soft physics. We'll do a spin around. And if I hit play, you're going to see all of the accessories are bound to any correct joint. All of the clothing items have inherited the body skin weight, so they're all appropriately bound. So I'm going to go back down here to motion, pose, a pose. Uh, and at this point, let's go ahead and choose the CC base plus body. And we're going to go in here to materials. And then you can just go down here. If you scroll down, uh, for example, the pants material is already PBR. So pants, gloves, boots, and shirts are already set up to uh, be a shader type PBR. Just go ahead and plug in your textures. And then if we scroll up, same thing for the shoulder, back, shoulder pad and backpack. Uh, you just go in here, plug in your textures, and now all of your clothing and accessory items are bound to the correct bones if they're an accessory item, have the transferred skin weights, and in this default pose that we modeled to is the exact same vert positions in our DCC app of choice, uh, whether that's Max Miyamoto Blender Cinema 4D, or in this case ZBrush as well, all of those verts are in the exact same position, so we have parity across all of the assets.